Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you've enjoyed your time at home doing your e-learning. I know sometimes it gets frustrating, but at least you don't have to go to school. So I guess that depends on if you like school or not, doesn't it? All right, well today I got a story out of the book of Hebrews. A little passage of scripture. Hebrews chapter 12, verses 1 through 3. It says, Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles. And let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith. For the joy set before him, he endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Consider him who endured such opposition from sinners, so that you will not grow weary and lose heart. When you enter a race, you lay aside everything that will slow you down, and, and you focus on the finish line. You never see runners running with chains on, their, you know, big chains, or running with books in a race, because it, it slows them down. They, they, uh, they run to win. And nobody runs in, in, in the hope of coming last. If, if I would, my goal is to come last, I wouldn't enter a race. But, but if, we're, if we're serious about running, we will put in the training and be focused on running well. It's much like that in, in the Christian life. We run to win the, the heavenly prize, which is waiting for us. We run with with our eyes focused on Jesus, and, and we don't get distra distracted or uh, with, with those things that weigh us down, um, uh, the, those things that are less important. We, we put aside that weight, uh, the weight of sin, and everything that can trip us up on the way. We run with endurance and persistence, which means we, we don't give up. We, we keep pushing forward. Jesus' focus was on the cross, and he never wavered from that. He knew why he came and, and what he had to, to endure. He, he stayed on course and he won the victory over death and sin. John 10.10 10 says, because of this, we can have forgiveness for our sins. We can have eternal life and we can live a victorious and abundant life. There are, there are times, though, when, when we become very weary, very tired, and, and we lose heart as we run our race. But even though the, the, at times it becomes hard and, and we feel like we can't run anymore, Jesus comes alongside us and, and helps us. Just remember to keep your eyes focused on Jesus. So it's challenge time. And this week I want you, uh, I want you to watch. Watch out in your life for things that slow you down in, in our Christian race. Now, be prepared. If you accept this challenge... You're going to find out soon that some of the things that mean the most to you and, and that you rely on could be that exact, that exact thing that is slowing you down. But with Jesus' help, you can get through this. So, until we meet again, just remember, God made you, God loves you, and God wants to be your friend. See you guys later.